we're back to Robin Hood here, and Edward, Edward was asking if we could solve that without doing the Texas two-step. That is to say, without plugging in a pre-calculated value. What's nice is since we got that one value in terms of g, when we put it into the elevator equation, it actually turns out pretty clean. What I'm saying is this. T, when I write it, T is equal to, I'm going to do it in a different color, because I like different colors. T is equal to M times the quantity G plus A, right? That's the elevator equation. We know we got there legitimately. All right, so now if we were to say T is equal to M times the quantity G plus, check this out. M minus M over M plus M times G. You can see the G's in there twice, isn't it? All right. So we can factor G out, and we can say that T is equal to M G times 1 plus M minus M over M plus M. All right. Putting all that stuff in, we'd get exactly the same answer. And as you can see, this would be a number that's less than 1. We already talked about the fact that this number would always be less than 1. Okay? So the tension can't be too great, can't be even as much as twice mg, can it? Okay? So we could put all those numbers in, and then we would have just one calculation, as you suggested. And that is actually a perfectly legitimate, if not even preferred way, to go about solving that problem. Okay? Nice.